All right, well, uh, let's convene the council then, shall we? What, a council session? Would they exist? God damn it, Quoll's in my chair. Right, what a dick. Quoll! Push him down. Oh, God. Minnie's in, he's in his chair. Yes. And the bat. Mm -hmm. That's important. Away, but... You're not, you're, you're not a part of the council. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Keep down. Sandor and I, Verna, swap chairs. It's okay. I like it like this anyway. <laughs> this, All right, then. This seat pretty much has, like, Rain's name on it at this point. <laughs> and blazoned, like, this on, is mine. blazoned on the seat of it. Like, really? Just, like, carved in with one of the daggers. <laughs> like, really? Isn't it a little petty? <laughs> Okay, well, let's uh, let's go on, shall we? We shall go to Kingdom Stability. Woo! Kingdom Stability check. Woo! Uh, I don't actually remember if it's mine or Trislin's turn. Oh, it's Trislin's turn. I, I, I think it's Tina's turn to roll for that. Very well. What was the assist? Come on, good roll. Either way. What is the roll? 1d20 plus 34. 1d20 plus 34. I'm on rest. Yeah. 24 or 34? 34. That is a failure. I tried. And we gain another unrest, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we get another unrest. It takes unrest up to four, which I have adjusted. Looks like uh, the, those tenement things, and you know, Ring Kalar, since he's so distracted now. <laughs> Indeed. Well, yeah, it's it's unruly. There's a lot of new uh, creatures moving about in the kingdom, and uh, brings with them a decent amount of lawlessness, as it turns out, uh, and unrest. All right, pay for consumption. Nope. All right, uh, magic. Uh, damn it! I've completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I can I can certainly roll roll for them if you if you want to. It might take a little while, but. It's it's not necessary today, you know. Just maybe yeah. one day on a non-session day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there uh, might be something I want to buy. You're not helping. That's right, dog. He's not helping. Modify and rest. Send in Tarlin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Queen, do the loyalty check. That's right. Let's hope for a good roll. You just need a not cat catastrophic roll for this. You just need out of one. All right, that is a success. Unrest goes back down to three. Yep. I'll in, uh, kill no trouble and scares enough people to calm it down a bit. Three guys like, we got this shit. Yeah, they can't boss us around. Fucking kill us in this cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my flesh! You my body. Cigar, it's just people. My body. My body was not ready. <laughs> Your body's not ready for Tarlin. Mm. Uh, that is a factual statement. All right, <laughs> All right uh, leadership. All right. Uh, given the uh, current situation of the kingdom, especially with the new stability uh, instability issues that have been injected as a result of constructing the new settlement, uh, I will recommend uh, switching uh, Ivernus' focus from economy to stability. It's done. So she, her, her job is to make sure the people don't get unrowdy instead of trying to make sure the economy is, you know, well yeah, maintained. She, she has mainly focused on building relationship with merchants and smugglers and, and, and keeping tabs on that. Now she's basically uh, switching focus to try to uh, curb some of the um, more unruly elements. That's the aggression that has popped up with our aggressive promotions. Are you sure we are not promoting aggressiveness instead of aggressively promoting? You know, we're we're a drow empire, so <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. All right. So, any uh, any more changes in the in the leadership or the council's focus? I don't think so. Then we go to claim and abandoning hexes. All right. Uh, per the. Uh Build order that was hammered out between, uh, say, uh, Dark, Sheep, Manakai, and myself. Uh, we've got 
a claiming of hex uh, 905, mm-hmm. uh, which is next to 805 up there. And we also have a claiming of hex 701. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Creeping closer to the... Uh... Great jumping off point, yes. Yep. Yep, might be a good idea. Eventually get that pulley system up. So yes, 905 and 701, kids. Yep. Uh, with a statement that, uh, you know, regarding to the great jumping off point, we need to control that access point so you know shit doesn't just fly in and go dirt, 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 dirt. <laughs> just sail over Vathis. It's not cool. I guess I'll fix the border on the top one. Fantastic! Okay. I'm manning the spreadsheet. I can't handle all the rules, Captain. (laughs) Can't do it, Captain. That's right. There'll be whales here. Um, Right. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) My my favorite Star Trek movie ever. (laughs) Whale movie. It's really good. Um... All right. And that will cost two build points. Then we'll go to build terrain improvements. Okay. So we're going to slash and burn Hex 905. Yep. And then we're going to build a road, a farm, an apiary, and an orchard there. All right. And that's all going to cost an extra 20 build points, taking us down to 31. The old one, two, three. That's right. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Yes, quite. We're also uh, going to deduct two build points for extra expenses because we're out of plant growth scrolls. All right. For, it takes us down to 29. Wonderful. I'll go ahead and add in more plant growth scrolls on the sheet. And more left. Cool. That'll be that. All right, wonderful. Then create and improve settlements. Okay, so what was uh, suggested and recommended in hammering out among us, and uh, fits especially given the unrest of the situation, to build a shrine in Vathis for six build points that'll use our liar of building discount, a yep. shrine in Faster Vault, and then uh, a house over the tenement in Duvenil. All right. That'll be uh, six build points for the discounted shrine, eight build points for the faster vault shrine, and two build points uh, for uh, building over the tenement, uh, which will be a cost of 16 total build points. All right. And the house won't uh, count against our two building improvements per turn. No, the first house that you're allowed to build on every turn is basically... It doesn't count against your building limit. The same is true if you build like a mansion or a noble villa. And I am not building a mansion for these fuckers. <laughs> you should not live in these. You should live in a mansion. No, oh, oh, I'm so happy. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Un- unfortunately, these buildings uh, do, do, it, uh, we are prohibited from withdrawing build points. We were planning on not having this much unrest in this situation, but the fucking Duragar and <laughs> the people moving in have hampered our pocketbooks. Uh, the shrines you're building in Vothis and First of all, uh, are they dedicated to Agaris? Yes, I think that right. would be. I don't think uh, it is within us to build shrines not devoted to Agaris. We yeah. build one to the Great Burrower. Soon they could come and join Agaris' church by, by taking right. a trip into the cathedral. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons for doing that is that obviously in order to populate the cathedral, we need to actually get people like, who is Agaris? What can she do for you? <laughs> yep, we need to be like, you know, outselling the drow version of the watchtower. And uh, it's going to be the great. Dungeon. <laughs> the dungeon? The dungeon, yep. <laughs> See, uh, as for placement... Uh, Maybe in Faster Vault, have the uh, shrine uh, next to the town hall there, at one of those two southern squares. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Object layer, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. Uh, the shrine near the town hall makes sense. Yeah. There, or here? Yeah, I think it, like in the same grid as the town hall. That works. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah. Right. And as for the shrine in Vathas, uh, I guess directly south of the fucking garden. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. 
<laughs> yes. There we go. Still got to make up for that desecration. Very sad. Mm. And now a proper shrine is built, so that's good. Hey, proper shrine! Woo, proper yeah. shrine! Good thing we didn't have one, so they could have desecrated it. Exactly. <laughs> it all worked out in the end. And you uh, you tear down the tenements and build proper housing. Yeah, we basically build proper housing over the tenements. Yeah. There is great rejoice by uh, by this move, as the poor and huddled masses finally can get a proper house to live in. And then they build a new tenement. <laughs> like, oh, God damn it. Uh, you, you know, <laughs> might actually might actually be. There's still a lot of people coming in. Okay. They're eating more our money, Manakai. If we only have like 4,000 people, if we're ever going to hope to have an army, we need like 10 times this. So. Oh, want 40,000 people? Yeah. That is size. You can begin to recruit like 1,000 soldiers. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. If you go by the standards of 2%, a standing military force, something. Yes. Currently, we can have like 50 people like that. I mean, if you have a heavily uh, militarized society, you can push up uh, the percentages. But at some point, you you can basically never go over like I think eight or ten percent or something because then it's just uh, then it's just uh, unreasonable. <laughs> you can never go above a hundred percent either. Well, you want to have hundred percent militarization? I don't think. Oh, no, more than a hundred. Like we are a nomad horde that just travels yeah. and kill and steal. And, and even like Genghis Khan's horde was not hundred percent militarized. Oh, he was a noob then. They had they had like yeah. huge yeah like, noob. Like it should Genghis Khan, you noob. Lol. Yeah. Learn to war. Mm. Gosh, too busy, you know, spreading your progeny around the world and. Making the Middle East hate you forever. Gosh. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Added Sick, in. Add, added in another farm, orchard, and road to the shooting. Okay, cool. And I'll add the buildings after we finish the turn so that they do not influence the rest of the rolls. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see here then. We will go to army units. Mm, don't um, have don't have the request wizard building. Yeah, it's true. Unless you only want militia. Uh, is you is you edicts? Any changes? I think we can keep it as it is for now. For now. All right. Uh, withdrawals from the treasury. Not anymore. Deposits to treasury. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. uh, same for Excel. Then we go to collect taxes. Has anyone ever deposited anything in a King Hager game? No. Go. Not in my experience. <laughs> the conversion rate is too, uh, too steep, ridiculous. and uh, yeah. players usually like their own gold too much. All right, she oh, yes. for it. Since I've, sworn, since I've sworn off making rolls, yes. Aha, above average, at okay. least. Okay. okay, that's uh, additional 12 BP, 25, and then 32 BP for how awesome we are, it takes us up to 57. If we, if we didn't so have the just, unrest... It says have... 35 on the... Yes, because I already added the ah, orchard. all right, sure. Ta -da! <laughs> I am Seed Master. All right, all right. I'm still questioning your math. I made, I made a build order. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking seriously, bro. That's right. Talk, talking sheet all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go kill but yourself. I'm, now. I'm sorry. Session is over. See you guys, guys next week. Yep. <laughs> Stop, you know. Can't get any better than that, so might as well just shut down. Uh, okie dokie. Let's see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, anyone have uh, anything they want to bring to the council's attention? Maybe not let people get so unruly. Yeah, <laughs> we try to keep it keep it a little on a control, people. Uh, Gorval will 
chime in at this point and say, It is troublesome, my lords. We have a lot of new blood coming in, and they have not yet learned their place. Uh, whips are being employed, of course, and with the help of the Master of Assassins, we are making progress. But I foresee more of these... Uh, uh, vagrant workers coming in in the upcoming months, my lord. It is understandable, as we are uh, trying to attract new labor to flesh out our grand constructions. You shall have to make more regular visits from Vathis to the unfinished site. Well, looks like he... Uh really don't want to do this but you know he he but he basically that is that is his normal like expression <laughs> after yeah. all the people's complaints go first to you so they must see you in order to express their concerns of course my lord he says between gritted filed teeth fingering his whip on his but on his hips Besides, you need to find a new and suitable vista for what will undoubtedly be your new base of operations, unless you want to keep living in Vathis in the future. I'd rather not, my lord. Ah, uh, question. I am, uh, I am guessing that we do not plan to keep our council meetings in the cathedral itself, yes? No, it will perhaps be another year and a half to two years before we actually relocate our capital and council meetings to the new city. Goral nods slowly. Understood, my lord. I will make myself myself visible to the huddled masses and see what I can do. But as I said, there is a large influx of creatures. And it will no doubt become more unruly. That's acceptable. We were running out of slave material anyway. Kobolds can only do so much. Indeed, my lord. Consider it a new challenge to accommodate you in what must be boring times, Master of the Lash. <laughs> he smiles a wicked grin, fingering the lash. Seemingly dreaming of all the pain he will inflict on things. <laughs> there we go. Creepy. Well, <laughs> it, it, it's Gorval. Drow it's the dream of any drow. Yeah. Unless you're dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like pain. What? Like Drizdord and yes. Not under my roof. Absolutely. You get out. Exactly. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be chaotic good, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go date a human. You will not. <laughs> you will not. Certainly not. That's right. She's a human, Dad. That's right. She understands me. What? <laughs> Let me meet this girl. <laughs> it's rather interesting. Okay. While the situation is understandable, that further instability might result as an acquiring of future slaves. It is important to know whether the economy will remain stable in these times. Looks over at Miku. Miku uh, shuffles his papers and looks around and says, It seems to me that the markets are opening more and more. I foresee better economy in the future, even though in the short term it will be rather... Uh, tumultuous. A lot of materials, work, and money are being spent on the new capital. But as it was said once, we need to spend the money to make money. He looks uh, miserable down on his papers. Absolutely. So long as we keep this region hooked on the fruit we produce in the jungle, we shall have no problems. <sighs> Uh, Gorval chimes in again. It might be prudent, my lords, to continue building housing districts for the incoming workers. At least for the, uh, well, the rest of the year. 
I can agree with that. Perhaps we can spread out the construction as well, so that new future slaves can be relotted to other cities. Or settlements, rather. They're not cities, they're not important enough. I'm talking metagame now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, my lord. Yep. All right. Then with that, uh, none of the uh, none of the NPC part of the council has anything more to add currently. Anything from the kids? Kids. <laughs> yeah. You got anything? I, I, I already spoke my shit. All right. In that case, uh, Kingdom Turn is over. Uh, mm -hmm. let's, watch. let's see, one more thing. Wow. Anara, your AC is now <laughs> so much better. Oh, yeah. That's right, you you kids who commissioned magic shit. That's done. That proved, proved <laughs> necessary. Mm, magic shits. Mm, delicious magic. Uh, let's see here. Uh, sheep roll D hundred for me, please. Oh God! What? Who? <laughs> me? You? Yes. You. You're yes, the one you. who. You're the one who keeps one. The roll. You roll. Why did you have to roll a seventy? <laughs> Is it because <laughs> fool? And another one, please. Me again? Yes, you. Okay. Fire opal screen down. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> I'm not sure that's good or bad. That's either going to be brilliantly good or brilliantly bad. It's just a result. That's right. One Did day I, I will reincarnate one, or something? One, one, uh, one, and another one, please. One day I will be allowed to make rolls again because of all of this. <laughs> <laughs> And then I will like overtax BP and something. With, with you, those D hundreds would be BP we now owe to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Villanid went went with like all of the the state's money to like a, a gnome casino or something. <laughs> I kind of got a little drunk. I don't understand. This game should have been easily winnable. I played <laughs> the odds perfectly. I must have cheated. It's a casino. <laughs> but the odds were in my favor. I studied them myself. I was sure that the thing was under that cup. Uh, <laughs> it seemed likely at the time. I could have won like four times my investment. Exactly. Four times BP. I, had to, I, had to I had to at least win back what I had lost. I could not return home, eh? Having disappointed myself. We'll just I'm... take the money back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Then um, we go into three months again of building and doing crap. Sure. Let's see here. I need to look something up. Sure. Okay. What, what kind of crap you kids want to do this time? Uh, well, I mean, there's still all the stuff we had just done before. Uh, I don't think we're going to go out and go exploring yet. We're going to see that. Yeah. Just no keep going. Don't if see anything, some, someone could take the submarine and like explore some lake. Sort of bottom. If they yeah, wanted to. The lake bottom. Um, well, I mean, we could. If you want. I mean, Alan Aries not going to go there. Screw everything about that. That's like a horrible idea. What's only mean related to the ones that actually trained to them? Yeah, work. exactly. You could go to it if you want. Quick BRB. Unless we have a group of like 16 skeletons I can make into a crew. Mm, I would rather Which you doesn't really seem like something Elenary feels like doing. I'd rather you didn't make skeleton crew to run it. Yeah. This, is waiting for, this is waiting for control on death. Um... 
Would Zen like to jump aboard underwater exploration? <laughs> I'm sure he, I'm not, I know how much he loved it last time. Hey, you know, not unless you force him to. You're coming on the submarine. Elinary might actually make a visit to the Skisrael caverns. Oh, talk to the the white spider. Sure, it's quite a long time that. since that's been done. Sure, a no, royal visit. Royal visit. Sure, that can be that can be arranged. Ally. Are you going to want an escort for this? I mean, if you want to come, I mean, she could take soldiers and such. You don't trust the soldiers, do you? I mean, they're, they're worthless if it came to a fight, but... <laughs> I'll, why, I'll come in on, the I'll world come would it? Let's start sure. with. Bring it, come along. You know, I'm sure she has many interesting thoughts, and, you know, uh, well, we also want to hear about what, she, what they have encountered with these tremors and such. Sure. bothering them all. And maybe there's lots of new little Skizral that have been born from that big x some years ago. Oh, yeah. That are now skittering out everywhere. There, you know, uh, as you approach uh, the Skizral caverns, you do notice there's a lot more activity. And as you enter, yes, there seems to be a lot of new little Skizral uh, scuttling about. Oh. Perhaps uh, some of those would uh, would want to work in the orchards. Yeah, like yeah, they're ad- adorable. Beavers. Just adorable. Yeah. Adorable spider people. I imagine sort of spiders that are giant spiders, but smaller. Except their mouths and sort of sort of legs have not been resized. <laughs> right. I, I imagine yeah. like those really tiny, you know, zebra-like spiders that jump when you poke them. Uh, those are pretty cute. Jumping spiders. Yes, well, you're b- brought before the white spider, um, being, you know, she's flanked by her uh, consort, as it was before. And, yeah, but there seems to be a lot more activity in the cameras. They seem to even have expanded out into more cameras next to it. Oh, and I will congratulate them on this progress. And she hopes that the, that the sort of, uh, you know, that the official uh, sort of deals we have going on, even though it's not direct trade yet, that it's still benefiting them as much as us. Oh, the spider if, if they need more room for their people, they can certainly, you know, our cities are open to all. People. <laughs> if some of them would ever want to see a bit more of the world. Uh, the white spider, yeah. She, um, she listens attentively, presumably, to what Eleanor has to say. It's difficult to say with a spider. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, she will, she will answer and say that, um, yes, this sounds intriguing to us. We are looking for new markets to expand and with all the new people, both in the jungle and in our caverns, more areas of, um, expansion is certainly something to be looked into. We will consider your generous offer, matron. Perhaps then one day our wares will truly be available in your markets and to your delight. Yeah. Is that, that is certainly one of the uh, one of the thoughts behind placing the new capital city uh, of the Drow Drow Nation by the uh, one close to the the monument of the Silk Alliance and uh, and also close to the, to the lake so that tr- to facilitate trade. Hmm. You know, uh, this case, Raul might not trade with the gnomes and such, but they can trade with the Drow, who will then trade it on, thereby giving them sort of access to, to enormous markets by proxy. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely something the White Spider is considering. Uh, she also tells you that there has been a, a fair amount of uh, seismic activity in their areas, and they are a little bit worried about it. Uh, she says that it seems to have uh, to come from uh, far below, and it has gotten worse over the last year or so. Well, I will say that they certainly, the drow here has always has also certainly felt this as some shakes actually damaged materials, and that large magma golem things have been sort of attacking. Yeah, so the white spider will report that they have had similar activities and that she has been forced to send out her her troops to deal with it. Well, and will certainly mention that perhaps uh, later in the year she will make a visit to 
Zan and here if they have uh, encountered similar problems. And uh, perhaps this is then if it continues to worsen something that the Alliance might have to look into dealing with, since it is a common threat. White Spider agrees and says that she will try to uh, scry the signs uh, of, the, of, the, of the great web and see if she can glean any more insight into what is going on. Uh, she will also ask uh, about the uh, the grand building project that seemingly is taking place uh, in the new capital. Oh, sure, uh, Ellen here will talk about the cathedral. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the white spider uh, wonder. You know, she she seems quite interest interested in this. She has heard uh, a lot of the rumors going around, and uh, she. Uh, she asks Alunari if she would uh, would be interested in Skisral produced silks and uh, and uh, other fabrics uh, when it comes to decorating such a place. Oh, most certainly, the Skisral silks, the spider silks, are the most. You know, they're famed for their beauty and uh, and excellency. Certainly, that would be. You know, something we would want 